Hello everyone, myself Dr. Suresh, Professor in Biochemistry and today in this video I will be discussing about chemistry of lipids. Okay. Lipids are heterogeneous group of water insoluble organic molecules okay, and they can be extracted from tissues by non-polar solvents. Okay. So once again I am repeating they are heterogeneous group of water insoluble substances and they can be extracted only by using non-polar solvents such as chemical solutions okay and total percentage of lipids in our body can make up 18 to 25 percent and they are the sources of long chain hydro uh, hydrocarbon groups and also contain apart from carbon okay they also contain oxygen phosphorus nitrogen and sulfur okay and in lipids the ratio of hydrogen to oxygen is not 2 to 1 and more than that okay and the speciality of lipids they are hydrophobic hydrophobic means water repellent okay they are water hating molecules that's why they are insoluble in water so lipids they can be related more to their physical properties than to their chemical properties okay like in uh, carbohydrates and then uh, proteins we will discuss more about chemical properties rather than physical properties but in case of lipids here we can correlate lipids more with physical properties okay and the substances which we can study under lipids like fats oils steroids waxes and other derivatives and blur's criteria and blur's is a scientist who has proposed a criteria for the lipids i mean like which fulfill the following uh, following lines such as lipids are relatively insoluble in water okay and they are soluble in non-polar solvents such as alcohols like ether and chloroform and they are potentially related to fatty acids okay and they are utilized by living organisms such as when we do require energy when our carbohydrate levels got exhausted like glycogen levels exhausted okay our next line of source of energy lipids such as fatty acids which are stored in adipose tissue okay so biomedical importance of lipids like uh, you say the main uh, importance of lipids is to provide energy okay and the energy like uh, it is much greater compared with carbohydrates and lipids that, mean, that means twice the amount like one gram of carbohydrate okay if you burn okay it will provide only four calories for uh, exactly proteins also provide four calories but in case of lipids it is twice the amount so oxidation of one gram of fat yields 9.3 kilocalories okay and they are acting as a protective coating like insulation of uh, uh, the paddy layer they form around certain organs like liver pancreas okay and spleen and act as a protective coating cover okay and thermal insulators like under skin they get deposit and uh, they will prevent the environmental changes like cold climate or warm climate they act as a thermal insulators and electrical insulators right and uh, prostaglandins like which locates the area of uh, disease or like inflammation okay and some hormones which are lipid in nature okay and some vitamins which are uh, lipid in nature okay and bile salts like glycocholic acid, uh, quinocholic acid. So these bile salts useful in emulsification process which aids digestion and absorption of lipids. Okay. And lipoproteins which are important cellular uh, constraints such as like um, lipids and proteins which help in transportation of lipids in plasma. And there are like many interesting topics related to uh, lipids such as if in case of uh, hyperlipidemia and all, uh, you may get obesity or uh, some cardiovascular diseases such as atherosclerosis. So in this picture, I have summarized all the functions here. First line of uh, function is a source of energy and second is protection of particular organs by making a paddy layer over the organs and thermal and electrical insulator and hormones such as sex hormones, okay, adrenal hormones, they are all lipid in nature, okay, testosterone, estrogen progesterone all these hormones are lipid in nature okay and third one is vitamins such as vitamin d which is also lipid in nature and the fourth one prostaglandins which are also lipid in nature okay they are 
the indicators of inflammation and uh, they they will make you uh, to identify the area of disease or disorder in the cell uh, and bile salts aids in emulsification lipoproteins carriers of uh, lipids in the plasma